Hey, what's going on, friends? Welcome back to Peak to Middle School. My name's Narwhal. This is Kyle. Kyle. You're Keeps, what? Are we done cutting each other <laughs> off? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay, you're looking good today. Thanks. Why am I looking good? Um, for those of you who aren't on YouTube, you can't tell, so you could go subscribe over there. Don't even tell them why. But just just come and come and look. No, I'm gonna tell them why. Okay, fine. Uh, you are in a sexy Steve Hawaiian shirt from the '80s. Yeah. Um, lit. You know, I usually wear that shirt once every couple months. It's called my spunky shirt. Is it? It's you my spunk spunky the, monkey. You know, you know. I think uh, is that spunk monkey. Remember, wasn't that one of the? That was one of the gay categories. I think. Really? Yeah, spunk monkey something. Well, I know. I know it's, it sounds British. I know spunk in British terms is like, like jizz. Yeah. It's so like a little... this is your jizz shirt. Well, no, it's spunk in my. You know, who's to say what's the right definition of a word? That's true. But I, if we're going to back to like English, English, that's what I would probably okay. go with. Well, if we're going by Seattle, John Farrar English, yeah. it is spunky means cool, cool. and hip and hippity Great. hop. Shit. And right. uh, no, see what you. Whoa. Do you have two hoodies on? Well, I have what I was wearing earlier. Can you oh see my it? God, you got like five layers on. It's right cold. Now. <laughs> Jesus, you're acting like we're in the middle of Alaska. We are. Um, no, but I like that. It's kind of almost winter here. Yeah, it's dark no, and depressing really. since like 8 a.m. It's been. It looks like it's 4 p.m. Yeah, but you're adding in some color and some spark into yeah. our lives. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be the spring in the fall. You know what I mean? Mm, and I know you get them confused, but I'm just. This is fall. We're in fall. If you guys haven't seen the episode, John. Didn't know what spring or fall was. I still don't. We're in fall. Okay. All the leaves I'll fall. I'll take your word for it, but to me, this is winter. This, this is winter. <sighs> it's you know when, cold, when, do you know when rainy, starts? Do you know when, sad. Do you know when the seasons start? Do you know? Do you know things? When's um, the, when is the, the- December 21st? When, this. Yeah, nice. When's the summer start? S something 21st? May? No. June. Yeah. What about, uh, what about spring? These are where things get tricky. Uh, what month do you think spring starts in? September. What? When, sp bro? <laughs> <Are you laughs> oh just, no, that's fall. God, September twenty first is fall. Yeah. So March. Yeah. March twenty first is spring. Yeah. See, this whole season of spring bro, doesn't make sense to me. Why? Why is it so hard for you to get? Because in my head, the world, my life, it goes from dark and cold time yeah. of year yeah. to warm and lots of daylight time of year. And that's it. Spring Everything is, is the same in between. But spring is like the stepping stone. It's the building block into that. And then fall is like where you're falling out I of don't that. see any building blocks, though. It changes pretty fucking quick. Yeah, but that, those... those <laughs> what, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, but do, do, do. <laughs> those are the building blocks. What do you? You said you don't see any building blocks. Spring is the building block where it's it's gradually. But it doesn't nicer. seem gradual to me. It seems pretty sudden, like don't you think? One day it's sunny. It very quickly in Seattle goes from weather where you could go on a boat and swim to where you want to sit inside and cry because it's depressing outside. I think it's kind of a slow, gradual thing. I think just time flies now that we're old. Time flies when you're having fun, which must mean that we have more fun as we get older. I must be having a lot of fun. I have less fun. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm having more fun, I think, than I've had in a while. Yeah. But do you think in terms of your whole life and like yeah. fun rating? Peak fun. Did you have more fun when you were 12? Probably 12, more fun dude. now? Yeah, dude. There's no, nothing in my life stressed me out when I was like nine. Yeah. You know? The only thing that stressed me out was like whether the Mariners would win and they never did. <laughs> and I here I am at 22, and, <laughs> and they, they still, still haven't, haven't made the playoffs. <laughs> That's yeah, really but sad. they won. They got the guy who won Rookie of the Year. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> Brought that back to back to back Rookie of the Years. Just you wait. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Speaking of fun. Yeah. So, you know how when you're little, everything entertains you, and just everything's fun, even if it's yeah, not fun. I could like pick up a little action figure, and that's fun. Yeah, you could. You could have just this water bottle. I'd be set be for like at, five hours. You know, your sister's dance recital or I don't know. Yeah. And you could have fun. Literally, that's what I did as a child. They would bring me to my sister's dance recitals and I would have a little toy and I would just sit there and play with it. Yeah. Now, if you could do, if you could have a pill, it's not a drug per se. It's more of a daily vitamin. Okay. <laughs> and it enhances your ability for things to be fun. Would you, that would be awesome, that right? It seems like ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah or molly <laughs> or molly yeah 
I mean, yeah, I guess it would be a something drug. that's just going to enhance me. I mean, why? But it, I, I just, I guess my point is, that, is that's how just come what drugs are? <laughs> how come we can't have fun that easily now? Like, what did I mean, we lose along the way? I think uh, our brains got smarter, and we realized how many more problems there are in the world, and mm. how playing with an action figure really isn't that important. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. But yeah, why is it that like things just stop being fun? Yeah, that kind of sucks. Maybe, like, you but do then there so are much. some things that are always fun. I think just, I had fun playing Pokemon, and I still have equally as much fun playing Pokemon. I don't think I don't think you do though. You have you're having fun playing Pokemon, but are you gonna grind as many hours into it as you did in your peak Pokemon days? I don't think you're going but to. But the hours you grind does that equate to out? Whoa, you just went cross-eyed. Yeah, it's a fuzz on my <laughs> fuzz on top of my head. Does the amount of hours you grind something equate to how fun it is? That's a good uh, question. Uh, yeah, I don't think so because I have the perfect answer. Restaurant story. I grinded that way too hard for way too long, and it wasn't that fun. But that, but that's what I'm saying. There's some things you grind that aren't even fun. Yeah. So just because you grind it doesn't mean it's fun. So and just because yeah. it means fun doesn't mean you have to grind it. I could grind on somebody and not have that much fun, but I'd still grind it on them. But you could also grind on someone for seven seconds and have the time of your life. Right, right. I think the chances are I would have more fun if I grinded for seven seconds on someone special than, you know, just, you know, Joe Schmo for like four minutes. Yeah. Like if I grinded on John for seven seconds, that would mean a lot to me. That's why, so I recently, we'll just get into it. You ground? (laughs) I didn't ground. No ground beef has Uh, been happening. All right. But... I really wanted to play Pokemon again, oh. and I couldn't. There it is. And I couldn't find my Game Boy Advanced anywhere or whatever, um, which is really sad. By I the way, I got an extra for you if you want. You got an extra Game Boy? Jordan has one. Oh, SP? Yeah. I never had an SP. I'm jealous. I had to. Oh, I really? had the Game Boy Advanced original where I had to plug in the light up thing to light <laughs> the screen. I never had a uh, DS though. So I yeah, missed all those you days. You missed out I on know. Diamond, Nintendo, Nintendo. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, didn't play that. I, yo, if anyone's around the age of like 20 to 24 and played Nintendogs, no one would have, none of you would have been better than me at the Frisbee. So you you train a dog and then you take him to competitions I and stuff. I think I can assume you just throw a Frisbee to a dog. No, and but catch it. it's like a very hard, it's like how you're really good at NFL Street. Yeah. It's kind of an easy game, but if you know the skill set, you can be really fucking good. Okay. I was the best dog frisbee thrower of all time. Are you good at throwing a real frisbee? No. I don't think I've ever seen you successfully throw a good frisbee. I think like you guys, when I picture you throwing a frisbee, it always ends up vertical and like rolling. it hooks to the right <laughs> and, and it rolls for a long time after it hits the ground <laughs> and then it rolls in a circle around whoever you're throwing it to. I've never just thrown a frisbee and the person doesn't move their feet to catch it. It's a tough skill. Frisbees are tough, dude. They always hook down one way or the other. Yeah, you gotta have a stable wrist. Yeah, good wrist flick. You gotta work on that wrist strength. Yeah, but I um, I had an itch to play Pokemon again, and I just, I'm so fucking proud of myself because I looked up how to play Pokemon on iPhones in 2020, and I was going into it. I was 99% convinced. It's impossible because there used to be a thing called GBA for iOS. That was lit. Where for a whole summer, all of our friends. Yeah. This just was grinding what, sophomore Pokemon. year, maybe? Yeah, I was in high school. Um, and that was obviously we were out of our Pokemon phase, but that reignited it. For sure. And you could play any Game Boy game on your iPhone. And it was sick. And you could like run faster, too. So you could go through the game faster. Yeah. And uh, eventually it got shut down because it's super illegal. But. I was like, maybe there's a new way to do it. So I spent a while finding it and like n- nothing I found worked. It was all patched or like really complicated. Or viruses. Or viruses. But then I just found some random YouTube tutorial with like a thousand views. And it was like within the net last couple months. And there's a way to do it now. Really? There's a new thing. And I got it. Well, don't tell everyone. No, I'm not going to tell you what it's called. Yeah, but now now they're on to it, though. Okay, now they well, know. You, you might know. be the you fucking rat. <laughs> what? I'm, You're going to be the reason to get shut talk- down. And all the Pokemon people are going to come after you. Yeah, I mean, we do have like 10 million listeners. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Um, but I got Fire Red, and I've restarted now. Fire Red's a good game. Um, what's, your, what's your person's name? And who's your starter? Uh, my person's name was fucking... Uh, you ever go through phases when you're a kid and you just name everything like, fuck me. <laughs> you could name your thing, fuck me. But like when you name your Pokemon, like poop, shit. No, yeah. My guy's my name is Ass. Dick and the other guy's name is Balls with a Z. <laughs> is it actually? Dick and Balls. Dick my and enemy. Balls. Nice. That's good. Yeah. 
What are the starters? I get them all uh, mixed up. Charmander, um, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. And then the next generation is uh, Gen Two is uh, that's ooh. like Emerald. Emerald. Oh, is the Emerald. Next that's step. Gen. That's Gen Three. Wait, wait. So there's like Yellow Pokemon Yellow and yeah. like the original. Yeah. And what were the starters in those? I don't know. What, Dude, I'm gonna look at look at the, look at the Gen starters. Two starters. I know the I know the first ones. I know Gen Three. It's um, Mudkip, Trico, and Torchic. Because I played that so much. Okay, okay. Hold on. We're going to do a deep dive into the Pokemon world here, guys. What's your all-time Pokemon? All-time favorite? I have mine. Uh, Probably, like, are we talking traditional, like, main one that most people like? Like a starter that you can connect with or just no, a rando just any one? Pokemon that you want to I really use. like Scyther. Okay, but... So you're not gonna like use Scyther. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, okay. But what about like one that you're gonna just like one that I'm gonna with? use in battle? Yeah. I really like Blaziken. That's my favorite. Blaziken. Um, Dude, when I use Blaze Kick, mm, you're not I, stopping that. Okay. So in Pokemon Red, Green, Blue, Fire Red, Leaf Green, uh, the options were Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Yeah. Who then goes into Ivysaur, then Venusaur, and then there's Charmeleon and Charizard, and then War Turtle and, and Blastoise. Blastoise. Damn right, I know that shit. Um, what about Gen oh. two though? I know that's Gen one. Gen two might be like um, um, Chikorita, uh, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Cyndaquil. Totodile. Totodile, that's right. Yeah, dude, Typhlosion's dope. But I never, I never wait, had wait, Gen so two. So what games were? Yeah, wait, were look up what ch- games are Gen Chikorita two. Chikorita, then. I never had Gen two. I had like a oh po- in Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. Professor Professor Elm was the professor and you can choose between those three wait so were those before um, that's what i'm confused about because I, I then those were after then ruby there's pokemon Sapphire. ruby sapphire emerald omega ruby alpha sapphire yeah. with professor birch yeah yeah and there was trico oh i forgot about trico and then if we were to play sun and moon which Holy just came shit. out ew this one's fucking gross roll it rowlet litten and pop leo look at Litton Look at that stupid kind of grass one. Litten looks dope. Rowlet? Yeah. It's just like an owl. He's just a grass brown, owl. brown grass owl. Gross. And then in Pokemon Sword and Shield, the brand newest ones, there's Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble. Scorbunny? <laughs> it's Scar- a scorpion bunny? Or it's a, it's a fire bunny, basically. It's a fire bunny. Yeah. Sobby? Sobble. Oh, Sobble. <laughs> Sobby. That's yeah. stupid. I just, yeah. I can't, I can't get into Pokemon, the newer Pokemons, man. I I want to. I've watched like the trailers and gameplay, but it's something about the fact that it's 3D now, or more, the battles are in full 3D, and it it's the fact that it feels more real takes me out of it almost. Yeah, yeah. It's like less arcadey. Yeah, I want that arcade setup where it's just my Pokemon's here, mine's here, and I'm just picking my moves. Yeah, I know. I isn't know. that weird? How that makes like, me feel old when though. things develop. We like them less when things get. That's what we complain about old people for is they don't want to use technology. Yeah, but that's us with we're Pokemon. Kind of being old, dude. You're right, but uh, that's something I can live with though. I'm not. I'm not gonna like abandon technology. I'm just not into the newest Pokemon game, which isn't even made for people my age. Yeah, but but if we take that. 30 years into the future you're gonna be the guy who's still using his flip flip phone per se yeah my iphone Your x iphone x when there's brand new things and you go this works just fine why do i all i need to do is text and call i i hope that that never <laughs> first i hope i never sound like that <laughs> that was a good sound like marge simpson homer <laughs> homie <laughs> that was bad anyways um i don't know i hope i'm never that guy but I think I might be. I think it's hard not to be. Yeah. It's pretty rare that there's a, you know, an old person that's really kept along with the young people and what they're doing. There's not a lot of 80 year olds playing Pokemon and listening to podcasts. And there's one Twitch streamer that streams Fortnite and he's like 60. Hell yeah. He's like, he's like popular and people like him just because he's not that he's not very good, but he's good for a 60 year old. Yeah. And people just love watching his streams because he's just like the things that gets him excited are so much different yeah. than what the average player would get excited about. It's funny. It's cool to see them get hyped. It's funny because like I can with video games, I can kind of equate that to like how if, if I grew up playing a sport. So like I grew up playing basketball, baseball, whatever. 
like if I'm trying a new sport, I'm probably going to be better at someone that has never played a sport before playing that sport. You know what I mean? Wait, like let, let's say like me and me and you like never really played soccer. Yeah. Like if we, if we were to play soccer, we would probably be better than someone that has never played any sports before trying oh, to play soccer okay. for the first time. Yeah. That's how video games are for old people. Trying to see an old person play a video game, they're the most uncoordinated person with a controller. Yeah. But you can give me any game, and because I play video games, I can kind of figure it out. Yeah. And, no, that's true. My dad was telling me... I, I feel bad because my dad was saying he would really love to learn how to play Madden because to yeah. him, he's like, Madden looks so cool. It's It looks like I'm watching a real game. It's so realistic now, and the movement is so cool, and... He said it, it seems fun to play like a simulated football game, but he's like, I don't even think I could learn because he's like, yeah. there's so many buttons. And then, but and, and to me, in my head, Madden, Madden is almost one of the most straightforward it's games. It's so simple. You just hold RT to, to like sprint <laughs> and then you like press the button you want to throw to and then you just move and like, yeah, there's but, some juke moves you can do and that's about but, it. But that's <laughs> what we think. But when you actually think about like, you have first have to explain, all right. So how it works, Dad, is you're going to be like every player. Yeah. So you're going to be the quarterback, but then as soon as you throw it to the receiver, you become the receiver. And you can switch to defenders. If you press like B in the <laughs> middle of like a play going on, you're going to switch to the nearest defender. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then and then I got to explain to him, you know, how to fake hike, how to do an audible. Yeah, it's hot routes and stuff like yeah. that. Like it's, <laughs> yeah, that's hard. I mean, it's, it's funny because I remember the first time I ever played Call of Duty was at your house. And mm -hmm. like I never really grew up playing video games where you have to move and turn the person, you know what I mean? Because I always played on GameCube and there was no games like that. It was yeah. just like 2D mostly. So that was the first like real world th 3D kind of game I've played. I yeah. just remember how hard that was to understand how to move the person and turn them at the same time. Yeah. And like it's easy now. I could do that in any game and be fine. But yeah. now when I see, I, like I can see why it's so hard for someone to play Call of Duty that has never played a video game oh, ever. Oh yeah. Like Call of Duty would be like impossible. They just start looking up and like, <laughs> Over there, and they're like, it's like, no, look down. <laughs> and their reaction time. And, dude, so bad. my dad, I've tried to teach him how to play COD, and he he doesn't realize what's an enemy. Mm. He'll see, a, like, a teammate and start shooting him. <laughs> but he's like, how do you know that that's a teammate? And when he asked me that, I had to, that, I had to sit back and think, how do I know that the people are, it's, it's just instinctual. The, it's the name. It is, but it's so subtle. And it's and kind I of think how they're just, moving too. Yeah, and it's just like we've grown accustomed to certain movements and certain sounds. Speaking it, of sounds. Sorry. Of sound, <laughs> sorry for the drilling if you guys hear that in the background. But there's just so much thought or so many like instinctual things that go into gaming. Yeah. That I don't know if an old person can just really learn. Like if my dad committed his life at this point could he ever be good at video games well define good like as good as either of us zero percent chance <laughs> but could he go positive in a multiplayer call of duty game i if he played every day i think he maybe might be able to but <laughs> i i don't see that work ethic towards video games out of your dad so yeah. probably not yeah have you played like your dad in 2k or something no dude i remember i think i played my have dad you? when i was really young and you i was just I, I, I got annoyed because he just he didn't know how to play, so he just started kind of goofing around. And I was like, come on, try. Like, I wanted some competition, but it just... You were just too good. Just too damn good. Yeah. I, um... It is weird to me that, to us, for our generation... Like, there's some guys I know... Like, I don't think Chris really plays video games. Yeah. There's some guys that just don't like them. But to most... I'd say 80% of guys our generation can at least appreciate or enjoy video games. Yeah. It's just a common thing. You know, girls like makeup and shopping. A lot of guys like video games. Hey, some guys like makeup and shopping <laughs> too. That's cool. There's a lot of girl streamers too. But it's just weird to me that that's one of the biggest things of our group. And there's a whole demographic that, like my all of my dad and his friends, yeah. probably like never once played a video game. Yeah. And I mean, sometimes like I wonder, people that aren't into anything that i'm into what like, do they do what do you what do you do <laughs> like you're at home all day if i'm at home all day i'm probably watching sports playing video games that's it. that's about it working out like I, I don't have a lot of things that i do yeah and to, to some people they don't want to do any of those things so then i'm like what do you do <laughs> you draw you read a book that sounds awful <laughs> like, yeah there's people that 
Yeah, think about everything that you do in out of enjoyment. There's people that do none of those. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. Like what? It blows my mind that people can entertain themselves. Yeah, I, I I'm watching <laughs> this um show called Queen's Gambit, which is set in like the mid '60s, and I I asked my I'm watching it with my mom and dad, and and the girl is she's like a 21 year old girl, so she's like about our age. And for fun, she'll like get a magazine and they go in for their fun time. She would go in a room and just like play a, like a play the radio and just like read a magazine. And I was like, she just sits in her bed and reads it. And I'm like, that sounds awful. Did people just go sit in their room and just like look at a magazine? Because they don't get me wrong. Yeah. Magazines could be cool, but they're not engaging for more than 10 minutes. Yeah. But I guess they would just go hard on these magazines or yeah. books or whatever. I think in, back in the day, they had to be way more creative than we had to. Like, we have so many things at our own place that are at our disposal to just entertain ourselves and just turn our brains off and just yeah. do them. But for them, like, what are you doing on a Saturday night when you have no friends around, no video games, no TV, it's raining outside? What, what do, do you do? do? Yeah. Like, homework? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, well, I think... I do think I'm I'm going to sound like a boomer saying this, but I do think that phones and social media has made us a lot less social in a lot of ways yeah, because sure. when I watch these movies or something, you know, even just just little things kind of bother me. Where for example, if if you're with four people and three of them go to the bathroom at a restaurant, I hate you it. always pull out your phone yeah. and just look at your phone because otherwise which, you just look like you're the lonely guy by yourself. Yeah, but it's like and I hate that that's a thing that we feel that way because back in the day, you'd have to do you you either sit there and just th chill and you feel comfortable chilling by yourself, or you go talk to someone. Yeah, you go you talk to the person next to you. You start a conversation with the waiter, or do something. Yeah, and we don't do any of that now. We're like and it bothers if, me. If you went to a restaurant by yourself, like I, I still I've never gone to a restaurant and just sat by myself and eaten food. Like I would take it and leave. If I if I were going by myself, see, and I think that's like it that's sucks. sad. Well, it's kind of crazy because like back in the day when people had to take the bus, like I take the bus to work, the whole time I have my AirPods in, listening to music or podcast, standing at the bus stop on my phone, on the bus, on my phone. Then, if I didn't do that, I'd just be sitting there in my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, but you'd probably talk to people more. Yeah, because you'd probably get. Sometimes people at the bus stop talk to me and I don't, those aren't the people I want to talk to. I know, but, but it's because we've been like conditioned for this for so long now. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, the, there was a situation the other day where this, this lady, she, I could tell someone's a little off about it, but she kept talking to me and I kept taking my AirPods out. And I was like, what? Or, you know, yeah. whatever. And then, wow, that was bad. <laughs> um, she just kept talking and I just gave up. And I was like, I just put my AirPod back in and she kept talking to me and I was just, ignored her yeah and i felt like an asshole but i was like i don't really want to listen to you right now i mean yeah they're weirdos are weirdos that's one thing but yeah. but if i didn't have that i'd have to listen to her or you'd yeah you'd have to or move walk or away something. but no i know i want to i don't know i i don't think i'm as addicted to my phone as a lot of people are yeah. but i don't know there are times where i really get annoyed with not only myself, but people around me always being on their phone. Mm -hmm. And I, I just, I don't know. I've thought a lot about Joe Rogan always does a thing called Sober October where he, every October he does no alcohol, no weed, no. And he's like big into a bunch drugs. of drugs and stuff. So he, but every October just as kind of a reset, he does none of, none of that. And um, I don't know. I've thought about doing stuff like that with my phone. Flip what? phone February. Yeah, something like that. I mean, obviously, there's stuff that I have to use social media for the podcast and posting and yeah. whatnot. But I just, I, there's nothing more that I hate than when I want to talk to someone and I just see them, or even even if I'm not talking to someone, but I just like look across a restaurant and someone's waiting for someone and they're just on their phone. Yeah, but you're also that person. No, I know, but it bothers. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, just dumb. just don't be that person. Yeah, but that still doesn't change what that everyone else is that person. Yeah, but if you can change it for yourself, then that's all that really matters. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be the, yeah, that's not what I was really going, but yeah. <laughs> Good. That, that, you said it better than I could have. Good. <laughs> Just like everything. How are we doing, though, Kyle? 
I'm yeah. good. I'm Un- hanging in there. Unemployed life now. Yeah. Um. Actually, on my last day of work, um, my bus dropped me off so far from my bus stop. I <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> why? I have no idea. Why don't you tell him, yo, this is in the bus stop? Because he just took a different route. I, th- I think that the something was closed and maybe the they closed off that stop. But, bro, they, they dropped me off so far away. How far? Half a mile? Like at least two to three miles away from my... From, you walked from three miles? Bu- well, I started walking. It was also like 1030 at night <laughs> and it was cold and raining. And I luckily, like I parked at my mom's house and then I'd take the bus. But luckily she was still awake and I was like, mom, can you get me? <laughs> Oh, oh, so, so she, you, she, picked she me came up. and picked you up. Yeah. Mom, mom, can you come get yeah, me? Yeah, she came and got me. But, like, it, it's just, that was just the cherry on top of, like. It's a big slap in the face. Job's gone now. Gyms are closed. Bus driver can't even drop me off at my fucking bus stop. I know. What Life's going great. What do you think's going to happen? How much longer do you think this shit's going to be going on? Just, just this shit in general. If I had the to, world like this, if I had to guess, it's going to be one of two things. Either we're just going to be like this until a vaccine comes and we're just going to be trying to struggle to get by. Our economy is kind of fucked. Or at some point they just kind of give up on that and just say, just like, say, look, fuck this it. is what we're going to live with and people are going to die. And that's what it is. But <laughs> I like I don't know what else we're supposed to do, you know, because people people aren't fully buying into the shutdown. And people aren't fully buying into opening it back up. So it's like, so we're, we're this, just stuck in the middle of we're this, in this limbo of just like, we're kind of open and like the disease is still spreading, but it's like, it's not going anywhere. It's not going to help anything. Yeah. So I don't know. I just, I just want my job back. <laughs> uh, I just want, I miss my old life. I miss my being, not having to think about who I'm with and where I am and how many people are around me. And yeah, I don't know. It sucks. I miss Mariner games, bars, not wearing a mask everywhere. I know. I, I didn't realize how much. I don't even like going out like that. Yeah. Really. But I missed that. Mm-hmm. And I never thought I'd be. I never thought I'd say, you know, I really want to go to like go to a club. Mm. I don't. I don't. I've never been to a leg, uh, actual I club. I really want to go. You know, <laughs> where they like do coke in the bathroom type of club. Yeah. I've been to plenty of bars, but I actually want to go to a club now. I have that urge. It's been that long of just no human interaction, really. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm just over this. I wish it was over, but it's fucking not. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, a year ago was, I think, when it kind of came around, right? This is like when we fir- it first started coming around was in November. That's then, when people like that. I heard about it yeah. months before it really happened. You yeah. know? I still remember in February, I was at my mom's birthday dinner. And we were just the only ones in a restaurant because people were freaking out because it was the first cases in the U.S. and they were in Washington. Mm. And they were like pretty nearby and there was like two cases or something. Yeah. And we were just sitting there like, should we be concerned about this? <laughs> yeah. Well, you then and a month I. month later, we were in lockdown. You and I were in Vegas yeah. the day before lockdown started. Yeah, pretty much. Which is actually fucking nuts that we were in the, one of the worst places in the country. Oh, yeah. During something that could have easily like we killed didn't really a ton put of much thought into it either like looking but it's back like, I don't, I, like what did we we didn't know the severity no of it. yeah we just we thought didn't. it was a unfortunate bad timing like little thing yeah and i don't think we realized that people were dying from it and how spreadable it is and spreadable you know infectious contagious, <laughs> contagious that's probably yeah. the word and also just like how i, I don't know I, just the way i think about what i'm touching now and when I've touched something and when the last time I cleaned my hands was, yeah. I, I'm always thinking about it, especially at work. Like I, I use so much hand sanitizer, washing my hands, wearing gloves. Like, dude, I've just had to reprogram my whole brain. Yeah. And everyone agrees. Like, it's just, it sucks. I've seen tweets that say the fact that a global pandemic is what makes us think about our, our house, like sanitized we are is pretty sad. Yeah. Kind of funny though. I used to just never, not, Okay, I didn't never wash my hands, but I would have no issues playing a full game of basketball and then just going and eating a sandwich. Oh yeah, and I would just do that, no problem, like, not even not even blink an eye. There but, were families that were kids would be playing outside. They come in for dinner and never would be wash your hands, kids. And I'd 
that was not my house. We no. just I, I, at least it wasn't me. I came inside with my black hands from playing just basketball outside and I'm <laughs> taking my sandwich. corn on the cob, just taking it to the face. I didn't even think about Slapping it. Slapping his sister. Yeah. You know, fucking just, my hands in your face. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And I also had no problem in the middle of a basketball game, like licking my hands and then That's rubbing the bottom fucking of my gross. shoes. People still do that. Yeah. Like pitchers. Yeah, you always lick licking their, your hands. Quarterbacks so are always licking gross. their hands. Why? I don't know. Just don't lick it. Yeah, that's how my whole baseball team got pink eyes. Because one person got pink eye. We're all touching the ball. We all rub our eyes. Soon enough, pretty much like half our team got pink eye. Or I didn't get pink eye. Alternate, alternate ending here. Yeah. One of your teammates gets pink eye. Or no, none of you have pink eye. But then when you guys take team showers, when you all shower together, yeah, we you guys all just have a did human guys, centipede where you fart in each other's face i mean we did do that but i don't think that's how it <laughs> we got it but did you guys take showers after games and like practices and stuff in the locker room no but i'm just you know baseball guys yeah i mean we didn't you do we that didn't, we didn't do that but that's kind of weird Kyle though like I, we have showers in our locker room but we never used them yeah because that's an outdated thing yeah yeah it, people used outdated? to just we were talking about things people used to do they used to just like whip out their dicks and always just shower naked. Just for fun, naked. just like they joke around. No one gives a fuck. Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. I know all about that because of where I work. So I see that a lot. Kyle and I, before we started recording the podcast earlier, I was saying, which group of athletes do you think is like the worst humans? Yeah. So in terms of which professional sport as people has that group of athletes done the worst things? And I said baseball, but Kyle said football players. Base- well, now that I think about it, there might be soccer players are pretty bad too. What do they? What have, What do they do? I mean, like, what are they known for? I just feel like they're they're so, in Europe. They're so on top of the world. Like they're the kings. They're even icons. Yeah, they're icons, and they can do whatever the hell they want. Like Ronaldo, he's like a pretty trash person. And he's he? done some pretty bad things. Yeah, like what? Like a lot of stuff to women that mm. he gets away with because he's Ronaldo. Yeah, but when you say, would you say he's probably more soccer players over there are the same level as LeBron over here, or are they even yeah. more bigger celebrities? Mm, I think it might be similar. Okay, I mean LeBron is pretty worldwide, and so is Ronaldo. I I think they're pretty. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, just when I think of when I think of a shitty N- name college one, person, okay, but name one baseball player that has committed a crime. Well, I don't know baseball players in so general. Then how can so you say the baseball players are the ones? <laughs> just because in general, when you just, I'm not talking All specific. Right. Okay. I'm talking, you hear of college oh, baseball, baseball team. frat guy. Yeah. Is usually done. Not cool things. Yeah. More than, uh, you know, I feel like more than a basketball player. Okay. That could be totally inaccurate. I mean, I can think of tons of examples of bad teams that have done bad things to people. And like, I'm, I know, I'm just, tr- I'm trying to generalize here. Yeah, I'm trying to group everyone up into one category. Yeah, I mean, LSU football. They just had this big scandal about a um, bunch of like assault cases that have gone just completely swept under the rug because mm. they won a national championship. So you know, everyone can do what they want. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's crazy is that. Um. What's that guy? Harbaugh. Mm-hmm. How much is he getting paid? Jim Harbaugh? Isn't it like $18 million? Probably. Or no, he, maybe it's $5 million He's about year. to get fired. By the time <laughs> this comes out, he might not be there anymore. No, I know, <laughs> but it's crazy is that he a lot of these college football programs, maybe Michigan's not the best example, but Michigan's a top two Alabama, program. Alabama, yeah. it's like the biggest part of their economy. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. this college football program is making more money than like any business in the state. Yeah, and that's another example of of priding off of people that aren't making money. It's just using these kids that, oh, they're amateurs. They're not allowed to make money while this whole program's making billions. Billions? Billions? Well, the whole NCAA as a whole is making billions for sure. Um, The program's making millions, and they got they got like nice facilities and stuff. And these kids are getting free education. Yeah, but at the same time, like they're not getting properly compensated for what they're earning for the school. Yeah. I know, because without those players, they're not shit. They're nothing. Exactly. Now, yeah, that is tough, though, because then it's like, do they give, is it like a draft? Yeah. Hypothetically, if you yeah. could, if you, in your world, you're in charge of the NCAA, how do you choose who gets paid what? That's got to be a really yeah, complicated that, issue to try and really figure out. That is really hard. So that's why like, I can see why it's hard to, I think the first step is to, I think they've already kind of done this is to say 
you can make money off of your own name and your own likeness. You can go go for signings and stuff like that. Like if you want to sign autographs, you can make money, show do appearances, commercials, whatever. Sponsors. Sponsors. Yeah, sponsors. Um, During college. Jersey sales. They never had the last name on the back because it's just meant for the school. It's like, oh, this isn't a Tua jersey. This is just a number or whatever jersey. Which is fucking stupid. Yeah, which is stupid. So the players are getting zero compensation. And... Um, yeah, I just feel like at least start with that, and so they can make money off of their own name. How they should be allowed? Oh, to. oh wait, so they currently can't do sponsors. No. I thought I thought that's what you were saying. Is currently no, I, I they think, can do. I that. think they just allowed something to happen, like they can make money off of their name. But I don't know what that, what that means. What the, yeah. Oh, so but in the past they couldn't have no sponsors they couldn't, or anything. No, there was a guy that had a YouTube channel that had to say YouTube yeah. or football, and, <laughs> and he picked chosen. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, he was the punter for UCF. And he is, he goes by destroying on YouTube, <laughs> and he would do he would do sick videos. He would be like, I think he was a kicker and a punter, mm-hmm. but he would do like, you know, he'd meet up with other NFL players and do like a weird like opposite leg kicking challenge or just like weird yeah. fun shit. And they were like, nope, can't do that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you use your name to make money? We own you. Yeah. Anyways, sorry if you guys don't like sports. That's just anytime that gets I get started on that, I can go forever because I think that's so fucked. Well, no, but but then would they? In do you think they would also pay them a, like a salary, some sort of fee or know. set rate? I don't know. And then if that's the case, then is it like a draft where it's like, all right, well, if two is the quarterback, he's gonna get a million a year, and if these other no schmo receiver, no he's schmo. gonna get he's gonna get five thousand a year. Well. That's why they have people smarter than me making decisions. <laughs> so I'm I can't I don't fucking know, but there is a better solution out there than what they're doing currently because it's what they're doing currently is very corrupt. Yeah, but then but then I'm just trying to I'm trying to think. That I can understand how hard this is because there's be, got to be a lot of issues because then the programs that are popping off that have nothing else in the state like Alabama. What else are you supposed to do other than go watch Alabama football? It's true. They're going to make, those players would make a lot of money, but then fucking, I don't know, what's a random ass school? Rice? Yeah. Fucking Ohio? I mean, they're they're not <laughs> making they a lot get? of money anyways. No, I know. So then the player, but then there would be incentives for players to not, like already there's incentives for I mean, players to want to go to good schools yeah. p- as opposed to bad schools, but then there would be even more complications about players not wanting to go to certain schools if they know they're going to get paid more if they go to some other school yeah you know what i'm saying yeah no i I get what you're saying that's why i don't fucking know that's why i don't have the answer but at least they should be able to make money off of their own name yeah yeah that's should be a baseline thing that i don't know how that's been taken away from them but it, it has been so did they when they used to have i miss the ncaa football games yeah they never got paid for that never got compensated they would use they wouldn't even use their names i don't think would they yeah would they use their names yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because well, I remember playing with Tim Tebow and yeah, yeah, stuff like that. But yeah, imagine you're a college football player. You're in your dorm as you're like 21 years old. You're playing with yourself, and you know millions of other people across the country are too. You're like a cover athlete, and you don't get shit. Yep, absolutely nothing. <sighs> that's stupid. I mean, Wait. that's corruption. Yeah. So, anyways, so a few days ago, before well. I guess we didn't really explain, but for those of you who don't know, Washington is now on another official state lockdown for... They just kind of sent us back to phase one, pretty much. Yeah. So gyms are closed, uh, restaurants like reduced capacity. They're closed for sit-in dining, but you can do like takeout and stuff like that. Uh, Grocery stores are back to 25% capacity and whatnot. Um, But the day or a couple days before it shut down... um, Kyle and I went to a bar and we got some drinks and the the day after I felt so fucking shitty and listen we've said before we don't really drink a lot no I haven't drank since 4th of July I think <laughs> but so this is my first time drinking in a minute and the next I used to kind of take pride in the fact that I didn't get very hung over in the past you're getting old dude dude that's what I was gonna say I think I think this year, I think 2020 was my breaking point. You think so? I think I'm in, I'm officially old man territory now. Or maybe because you don't drink much, you don't realize that how much water you need to drink <laughs> when you're drinking. I don't think it's just the water. Like, I could have drank as much water as I felt like, and I still would have been yeah. fucked up. I mean, anytime you're going to drink an AMF, you're not going <laughs> to have a good rest of your night. <laughs> yeah, but I just, 
I don't know. I really had a realization because Shim, I remember last year, Shim, Shim reached that point and he told me, he said, you know, man, I think I'm there. I think I'm past college prime prime, days. I am too, for sure. And it's a sad day. Not that I don't really care, but just the fact that my whole next day, I was just ruined. I <laughs> yeah yeah. I got home. I had things to do the next day. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I can, I can kind of rally in the morning. So the morning after, feel terrible, but then I can kind of get going for an hour. Mm. But as soon as it it re hits me and I realize, oh shit, I don't feel good. Yeah, I'm just on the verge of like trying to not, mm. not even throw up. Like I had no urge to throw up, but it's more of just. I feel terrible enough to where I can't focus on anything. Yeah. And you got to just take a power nap. Yeah. You just kind of have to accept that if you're going to drink a lot, then the day after it's, you're pretty much, it's like a day off. You, you can't do much. Yeah. You can't do anything That's productive. That's so dumb. How come God or the universe or whatever d- created this? Why does alcohol, the one thing that m- most people in the world enjoy, <laughs> why does it literally have to be poison? Um, <laughs> You think I don't they could have made it just like a normal drink. You drink this, you feel good and have fun. The next day, it's like you pee it out like water. But instead, we're going to make it toxic poison where yeah. if you drink too much of this good drink, you literally fucking die. And you're drinking this liquid that does not hydrate you. It does the opposite. It dehydrates you. And then you're peeing. You're like, oh, my pee's clear. I think I'm hydrated. Nope. And they make it to where not you can't just have a drink that just makes you have fun and have a good time it also ruins all of your coordination and puts everyone's life in danger as well yeah Uh, see see, what was that about (laughs) this makes me sound like a hippie and maybe it's because i'm wearing this cool funky shirt but weed doesn't do that to you i mean like it impairs your driving and stuff like that and maybe your decision making but you're not going to be hung over the next day you feel kind of groggy if you're like really high probably yeah but like i'm not saying you need to smoke weed every day but like it's it being high then the next day is way better than being drunk yes in i i saw a me or a tweet the other day and it was i don't know it it, it almost makes it feel like it's less poison than alcohol to me yeah it is less poison it's not completely affecting my whole next day yeah and yeah i i saw a tweet and it was like uh it was something about once you smoke weed the thought of alcohol is so unappealing yeah and it's like, why would I want to do that when I could just do this instead? Yeah, and just chill. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things where I know that I don't really love drinking, but it does. It's very, it's deceptive. They, it, it brings you in, and it's like, you know what? You haven't drank in a while. You know what sounds fun? Drinking, getting drunk, and just not stopping, and getting fucking blasted. And I I don't know. I think I'm at a point where I'm smart enough. I know my limits, and I know when I'm done. <laughs> Which I don't know if you do. No, I I never will. I feel like you know no limits, and you kind of just keep going, and then that's regret. that's my that's my whole personality. It's yeah. it's it's don't. It's like why would I stop? There is no point to stop. If I can do more, why stop? <laughs> well, because of the next day and because of past, this, but, is when, but, this goes back to last episode, past experiences, you should get that gut feeling of, you know, maybe I shouldn't drink more of this because I've been in that situation. That's what happens to me. I know where I'm at. I know if I drink more, it's, I'm not going to have a great rest of the night. But what? you are always an advocate of that's a problem for future Kyle. Yeah. But some and, problems and that's are how I get Kyle when I get drunk is I go. I don't fucking care. This is awesome. That's a problem for future John. Right. But I, you, you got to pick and choose when you're going to give problems to future John. We, we pick the opposite. Yeah. We, we flip flop. <laughs> yeah. It, for me, it's like getting an oil change. Future Kyle will deal with that. He won't be that mad about it. But if I, if future Kyle wakes up super hungover, it's not going to like past Kyle. Oh, see, I don't get mad at past John. I'm more of just like. Why you just d- sad, just just, <laughs> just overall sad. sad. Yeah, I mean that happens. No, but it, I I would agree. Once you get to a certain age, I, it makes it sound like I'm old. I'm literally 22. Like I, yeah. not even old at all. But it's like, once you get past 20, then wait, where was I going with this? Then you, then it's harder for you to get, or it's you get oh, hangovers. Then your whole next day, yeah. you, like you said, you have to decide that the whole next day is basically nothing it's just a wash 
Yeah. I don't Which know. isn't always bad. Like no. it's it's okay to have some days that are nothing nothingness days. Wow, look at you. For me, those ruin me. Like I fucking hate it. Yeah. But I'm I'm becoming okay with the fact that I did a lot the last six days. This day, sometimes, not all the time. If I have one day a week that's always a wash day, I'd fucking kill yeah. myself. Yeah. But <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> but you know, every once in a while, it's okay. Okay, that's that's great. I also think um, part of why your hangover was bad was because maybe you, well, one, you mixed a bunch of different alcohol. Two, no water really. No water. <laughs> uh, two. Uh, you don't drink a lot, so you don't have a high tolerance. So, and I slept like four hours. That does not help. So, there sick you go. combo. Yeah, there you go. Legit combo. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, and okay. So that was fun. Now we're back in lockdown, though. So that was kind of the last little fun we'll have in a while. But I've picked up a new hobby. Masturbation chess old hobby oh i beat john's ass in chess okay. john john comes over to my apartment like oh i'm so fucking good at chess i learned how to play chess so <laughs> I this know, is I so know chess untrue yeah. so fucking wrong it's not even funny everything you just said was not true <laughs> you were bla- you were you were bragging about no how you- i wasn't i said i was just learning how to play chess for the first time in my life and i just learned how to fucking move the pieces and that i wanted to like bragging to me and i just wanted to play <laughs> you and then you clay and then when you beat me you act like this was some impressive win <laughs> yeah it was i defeated the the champion of researching chess <laughs> kyle kyle got like i don't know man sometimes he just gives me shit for the dumbest <laughs> fucking thing i was like i got nothing else to do i went to kyle's house i was like yo play me and download the chess app and play me in chess i just learned how to play and shit both him and shim turn their head and go what I you mean, just learned how to play chess? Yeah, that is something that most people know how to play. Like, by the time you're 22, I would say 85% of people know how to play chess. I bet 50%. No. My sister has no clue how to play chess. Well, she grew up in your family. You Does guys your are... sister know how to play chess? Yeah, we used to play. All right, well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I never... have more powerful brains over here it's on the like, Stafford side. I... I don't, like I don't know what you expect from me. I didn't know. Okay, to know how to. Sorry, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. You just you made it sound like it was this profound thing that you learned chess. It and is we like, pretty. Profound. Have you guys learned chess? <laughs> we're like, yeah, I've known since I was like eight. That's not the 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 tone that I received. Mm-hmm. I received. Are you fucking kidding me? You just learned. <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah. And then it's so like then, learning how to ride a bike. Most people that learn that know how to ride a bike can play chess. No, 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 no. You think more people play? All right, maybe that's way more people can ride a bike than can play chess. Yeah. Okay, but, but, but to me, that's how I took it. Like, if someone said I just learned how to ride a bike, I would be like, "You fucking never <laughs> learned how to ride a bike." <laughs> okay, but but then or swimming. I, so I wanted to play Kyle in chess. Yeah. And I guess to him, he interpreted this as. John thinks he's good at chess and is challenging me, so let me beat him and then feel good about it. I'm competitive. Which was not the case. It was, I want to try and play a real game for the first time in my life, so I play Kyle. No, he beats you said that you were playing your dad. My dad was teaching me different moves and how the characters move. So then Kyle beats me and just like tries to rub it in my face like, <laughs> okay, good job, dude. Yeah, I fucking beat your ass. So my point is, is Kyle was really mean about beating me, but the last couple days feelings. I've you... been playing my buddy Anthony and my dad mm. a lot, and now do you win? I I've won a couple games, and I think I could beat you now. Kyle also, all right. We need to set the record straight. Whoa. There's a difference between knowing how to play a game and playing the game. Okay. You know, right. You can play chess. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm a chess expert, but but, but <laughs> I'm not. I think that I have no strategy. 99.9% of the people that play chess could beat you. Yeah, for sure. I'm not saying I'm a great so chess player. So the fact that you were like so well, aggressive that, that, towards beating me was <laughs> annoying because you're not even fucking good. <laughs> but that made me even more impressed with myself because I'm not a chess player. I haven't played chess in like eight years. I just said chess. I haven't played chess. Yeah. I haven't played chess in like eight years, and then John's talking about how he's researching strategy and he knows all these things he's watching this tv show about chess 
So in I my am. head, he, in my head, he's coming to be saying like, "Oh, I, I'm the fucking man. I know all about chess." <laughs> That's not. And though. I was gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna humble you because I'm not a chess player, and I humbled him. John is now humbled because of me. So you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's so just, we are on so different pages that's how i viewed it okay well it's a humbling experience for you <laughs> I, I guess <laughs> glad i could humble you i'm proud of you for beating me thank in you chess thank you um so it's a special day but i want you to know that within the next two weeks okay if i play you again yeah you won't lose or you i <laughs> watch <laughs> <laughs> God damn right I won't. You I'm, won't win. I'm gonna beat that ass. All right. Well, now that now that you're actually bragging about how you're we're gonna, gonna beat have me, an official chess match. Okay, that's fine. So maybe we'll do an official Pims chess match. I don't know. I, I just I don't think people are gonna really want to watch that. <laughs> you don't know, Kyle. You don't yeah. know that. Yeah. I, chess I just, chess is gonna make a resurgence and be the next Super Bowl. I don't think there's two people in the world I would actually go into a stream and watch play chess. <laughs> You'd be surprised. There's a lot of huge chess streamers. There's people that get like 10,000 live viewers playing chess on Twitch. All right. That's got to be the most boring chat ever. <laughs> no, it's dude. It's not lit. I've watched some. You know Penguin Zero? He He'll chess. stream chess in chess tournaments. All right. And but like, he's, okay, that's different. He's funny. But see, this kid's now watching chess streams. That, this is how <laughs> yeah. much research he's putting into just I'm learning a committed. useless skill. And the app, the chess app, it's not only chess. It's called Chess Play and Learn. And there's different little it's things. you tips. Yeah, it'll be like you can literally get little informative tutorials and it'll give you like little scenarios and it'll teach you certain defenses, certain attacks. And pretty soon... You're setting up plays with your, with your yeah, pieces. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be me. And Kyle is going to be all, oh, John, let's play a couple weeks from now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat you. And then sit down. I'll just fucking tear you a new one that's fine if you tear me a new one if if i lose to you and you have really practiced and researched your way to become a better chess player than me who's done no research ever then kudos to you you are a better chess player than me and i no longer care but for as long as you care about being better than me i want to be better than you <laughs> the thing that sucks about kyle and things <laughs> is that kyle and things <laughs> is that it's all it Kyle as soon as it feels good to beat him he stops caring <laughs> yeah that's what so <laughs> so he only cares when like when I'm winning. when he's better yeah. and as soon as you're better it doesn't feel good because he no longer cares exactly and he, or he does but he makes you f think that he doesn't care mm, no I just so don't, he does nah, deep down nah, I don't care <laughs> I just, I'm a competitive person until you lose. Until I lose. <laughs> and then you give up. No, nah, I mean, there's some things that I care about that I lose. Like, no matter what, I care about Warzone. And oh. I want to <laughs> I want to win. Yeah. But, I, I mean, it's chess, dude. By the way. What? Kyle and I had a sick Warzone win. We've had a few lately, dude. Last night, I think we had our best win oh, ever. Yeah. Just working in communication. The more we talk about Warzone, people are going to ask us to play Warzone with them now. Yeah, well, probably won't. So yeah, Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys listen if i'm gonna play wars i'm gonna play with the boys i'm saying one day though we'll do pim's live streams and we'll invite people and you yeah. guys can all play with us on the stream that'd be lit i do want to stream one day but yeah i just don't think i'm ready yet but yeah we do want to do more live stream episodes very soon the reason we keep saying it and haven't done them is because we're stockpiling episodes because i'm about to be gone for a bit but trust me come january i think i don't know Still haven't decided, but I'm leaning towards trying every other episode, yeah, or maybe try, once try every or two something. weeks or something. Just see what happens. Yeah, um, could be like the first episode of every month or something. Yeah, we'll try something. But yeah, you want to hop into the segments here, Let's do it. baby? All right, we're gonna move into the segments here. For those of you who are new around here, first of all, hello, welcome. Uh, go subscribe on YouTube where we have full video versions. But also, more importantly, if you're to do anything in this whole day more important than eating, than shitting. Than kissing your wife on the oh, mouth. Well, we're going to find out how important shitting is in a minute. <laughs> but before you do all of that, go leave a review on the Apple Podcast app. Search Peak to Middle School. Scroll to the bottom. Rate us five stars and write literally anything nice. And it would mean the world to us. And once again, sorry for the noises. Yes, there's drilling. Um, okay. It's John getting drilled. Kyle. Yeah. Today we have why'd you Google that in fan questions. Okay. So why did you Google whatever you Googled? Because I was curious i said what will happen if and then i never popped up and then poop popped up what happens if you never poop 
yeah. mean, if you just decide to hold it, what's going <laughs> to happen to you? And it turns out it's called fecal retention. <laughs> Um, that's probably some weird fetish. Yeah. It's like, it's like mm. manual constipation. Yeah. So basically if you, you're not moving your contents through your body, uh, if you're eating and not pooping, the colon can become dangerously distended, a condition called mega colon. <laughs> the feces Sounds can like become hard and impacted. Oh yes. I'm getting a call from New Jersey. Scam likely. It's my favorite number. Scam likely. Yeah. That's kind of lit. They always call They're me. a new fan of the show. Yeah. They're my number one on Snapchat. Um, the feces can become hard and impacted, and the bowel can actually rupture. So basically, it'll just kind of explode inside <laughs> you, and it just kind of you've become filled with it. And I think that's bad. Yeah, because if you think about it, so here's the here's the hole, mm-hmm. all right, and like it's led up to the hole, right. but you, you don't let it out. Mm-hmm. So then it's gonna go. It's gonna just slowly fill up all the intestines, yeah, all the way up until eventually it. There's no room. It's right in your. T- <laughs> it's right here it's in your heart. <laughs> yeah, and then it'll just go poof, yep. kaboom. Yeah, that's that's the science behind that. Can you imagine like the shit you would take if if you held it just like a week, and then one day? Yeah, I, I kind of did that when I was doing my surgery because I wasn't really eating anything. And yeah, I, but that's different because you weren't not eating. Much came out, but yeah, bro. If you ate every day, there's God, dude. There's weirdos that I are. Mean, you'd feel that. terrible. But yeah, there's people but, with conditions. I'm sure. But like you know, there's times when you have to go so bad that you literally feel like. If you don't get to a toilet, it's, yeah. it's going to come out. Yeah. So how could you, someone it might be do more that? Like, it might be more of like a constipated condition. Uh, where it's not even by choice. Yeah, it's just like you can't. I don't know. <laughs> I, I've never done it. Never plan on doing it. What's the longest you think you could go without poop? Like you you still have to eat every day. You're eating normally, but you know, $10 million on the line. How oh, long could you go dollars? without pooping? <laughs> I think I could get a week. I would no, feel terrible. No but, but way. A week? $10 million, I would try. Dude, after a day, though, I'm yeah, like... Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I'd feel terrible. I'd, I wouldn't enjoy any of it, but yeah, I think I could maybe get a week. I'd, I'd say for sure I could get two to three days, and I would feel terrible at I it. Get, yeah, I could get three days. I, I could do it. I would feel terrible, but... but the next four? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, voicemail. I could go with something a little more, you know... Useful? Not well, no, not even useful. But um, <laughs> I was watching Better Call Saul, uh-huh. and um, she said, or no, the guy said, hey, you, you don't have to be like a hair shirt or something. What? It, yeah, and hair I, shirt. It's a term that I never heard of before, and I just wanted to enlighten you guys. So, first of all, well, one definition is a shirt of hair cloth, formerly worn by penitents and something. Uh, that's not the what they were referring to but the term hair shirt when you say it to someone else like you don't need to be a hair shirt or whatever (laughs) okay it says if you say that to someone is wearing a hair shirt you mean that they're trying to punish themselves to show that they're sorry for something they have done so a hair shirt would be uncomfortable be itchy yeah so like if someone's wearing a hair shirt it basically in the context of the show this woman lost her husband he died quite a long time ago Mm -hmm. and she was in this kind of support group for people that have lost loved ones and she was saying you know today was the first day in years that i hadn't thought about him all day long Mm. and she's like she felt really guilty about that because she said if i can go a whole day without thinking about him you could go then i could go go a week and then i could go a month and then pretty soon i could go years without ever thinking about my dead husband Mm -hmm. and basically the guy said to her like you know, you don't need to, um, if you say someone is wearing a, so he basically said, you don't need to wear a hair shirt your whole life. And I thought that was a good, wholesome piece yeah, of advice. I, like, I think I would have said that differently because that somehow feels offensive. No, it, it, I think you, you got to see the clip, but it, it comes yeah. off as like in a loving way, but it's basically, you know, there are people that feel yeah, like they punish themselves for something that what literally wasn't even their fault. Right but you feel like guilty for it forever. Yeah. So don't wear your hair shirt, guys. Don't wear a hair shirt. One could or argue a literal th- hair shirt would like SpongeBob sweater. Not very yeah. comfortable. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> you may want to have tears too. That one might be kind of <laughs> a little cold though. A shirt. No, tears are warm. Oh, yeah, but warm cool, water cool shirt. Off the, mm, that would feel Ooh. good. It's yeah. a, like, like the shirt is wet, but it somehow doesn't get you or, wet. Or what if it's like a, like a clear plastic, like a big Ziploc bag kind of thing. And it's, there's water mm. inside and it's always warm and you just wear it around your body and it just warms you up. Ooh, a water bed. It's like a water bed, but on your body, mm. but warm. 
it's kind of cushiony too. Mm -hmm. Also, I think a waterbed wouldn't be that comfortable. I've laid in one. Is it it's a weird sensation. Who had a waterbed that you knew? Trey's brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, it was kind of it was it was cool. It is something that I think everyone should experience. Okay, you should try laying I'll, in a I'll waterbed. Try finding one because it's kind of like you know when you sleep on an air mattress at someone's house yeah, and the next sucks. morning it it got deflated a bit. Yeah. So when you roll out of it it kind of roll like moves with yeah, your yeah, body yeah, yeah. that, but the whole bed is like that all the time. Like there's no support though for your back or your neck or anything. You'd be, you'd be surprised. All right, maybe I'll try it out. <laughs> but then if you pop it, like that's what the, happens. That's the thing. I mean, um, overflow. Okay. Well guys, moving on to fan questions here, how this works. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You guys ask us questions on Instagram at Pim's podcast. You can either DM us, uh, and we respond to all you guys, or you can re respond to our stories when we ask every week. Um, Unless you're asking to be on the podcast, it's probably a no. Yeah. But today I decided to put it on my personal story to get maybe some... Oh, some... that's what. It, that's why I couldn't find it on the Pims one. Yeah. But today I put it on my personal story on Instagram and uh, just to mix it up and get maybe more of my real life friends involved in it. Wow, real life. And also give you guys a reason to go follow my personal Instagram at Hey Narwhal. Wow, trying to plug himself. I am. <laughs> fucking guy. So... We have quite a few here, but the best one I've seen so far is from our good buddy Shim. Okay. Oh, wow. Kyle's is Kyle's roommate. The one, the only, the, the one, one that I see Shim. too much of. Um, he says, would you rather have your nudes mistakenly be sent to your boss oh. slash employer or your mom? Uh, <laughs> mm, I think I'd rather have my mom. What? My, my work would destroy me. You'd they probably would, get fired. Well, no, because it's not like the customers saw. No, nah, they would destroy. They gave me a bunch of shit for fucking up that uh, shotgun. Mm. That was just one thing. And so, your facial hair. They my facial hair. Yeah, my just my face. Just me. <laughs> yeah, I. Mm, I wouldn't want my mom to get them. Uh, not that I have nudes of myself on my phone. Some people yeah, do. I don't no. have any. But um. Yeah, dude. I think I'd probably rather have my mom find them than. What would your mom do? She'd be very disappointed in me. <laughs> yeah, she'd be she'd be sad. She, I wouldn't want her to. I don't want my mom to see. Well, them. I would hope that if my mom got them, she wouldn't like actively look at them. Yeah, she'd probably see them and be like, oh, okay. Yeah, and she, then she's like, all right. Yeah, just a quick glance. And I then, hope she might might get it a little bit and be like, okay. Your coworkers, they no, they'd, they'd would, get it. They they <laughs> they'd get, get it a little too much. Because I'm just thinking if if one of them got theirs leaked and we all got it it would be hilarious you'd ruin them yeah so so yeah okay um yeah i'd probably go with my boss because but my my stakes are a little less high because i don't have a whole bunch of coworkers. i mainly just got the one boss yeah so yeah. he might view me pretty poorly <laughs> but that's okay yeah it's not a whole community you might lose your job yeah 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 um cool okay um the next one this is a good question from my friend Bree. She says, describe one of the most embarrassing things you've seen. So not mm. necessarily the most embarrassing thing you've done, but what have you witnessed? There's got to be something that you've secondhand witnessed an embarrassing thing. I've seen a lot of awkward first dates, <laughs> like high school, middle school age people trying to trying to flirt. I've seen a lot of that. And you can relate because you're like, that was me. Yeah, or the, the guy saying goodbye and he's like, kind of trying to maybe gonna kiss her or maybe not trying to figure out what to do there or like mm. holding hands for the first time and just I, i've seen a lot of that um i've seen a i've i've seen my fair share of people go for high fives but the person looks away yeah and then i i, I, I see them like across the gym and I, I saw a guy the other day that went like that and then the guy turned around and he was like oh that's rough that's hard it's so hard to recover from and that's such a little minor thing that hurts your ego so much yeah yeah also falling people falling i saw ooh, in high school there was one girl that fell down the entire <laughs> entire staircase yeah a big ass staircase with her lunch mm. and then she came to school in a wheelchair after right <laughs> that's pretty funny <laughs> she did there was a girl one time we we're walking home from school in middle school we were on this little path that was kind of a lot of moss on the ground, so it's a little slippery, and she was riding a scooter, and she was eating pudding. <laughs> and she takes it hot around this corner and just eats it and falls, pudding in hand still, spoon in the other, laying on the ground, just skidded like 10 feet, takes a scoop of pudding, eats it, and gets up and 
Goes about her way. <laughs> Scoots home. Damn, her pudding was untouched. Yeah. We were like, oh my God, are you okay? She didn't say anything. Just got up and scooted. She didn't really like you guys, huh? Probably not. She's probably embarrassed. If I if I fell over eating pudding <laughs> and people asked if I were okay, I would want them to pretend I did, they didn't see it. Um, One time, uh, this kid in middle school, maybe you can jog my memory, but I, I believe he went for a drink of water and our friends thought it was funny. It was Jordan. Like, yeah. <laughs> Shim. Wait, Shim was the one drinking? I have two stories about Jordan. Jordan was drinking a water bottle. And someone, someone squeezed, squeezed it on him. It. And he was wearing gray shorts. And it got all it over him. It poured all over him. He looked like pissed. he peed himself. He was pissed. He looked like he peed himself. Second time, someone like took his spot or something at the lunch table. And he was trying to like get back into the lunch table. And they kind of nudged him. And then he dropped something with ketchup. And he got ketchup all over his shorts. And then he's and then like, didn't he go home? He's like, I'm going home. And he like started walking away. And everyone's like, bro, what are you doing? He and didn't, they, he didn't and they, they li- you lived within like walking distance. Yeah, he so could have just he leave campus home, and just walk home. He didn't walk home. But it where was, did he go? He like started walking away. And then I think he just eventually came back. Came back. <laughs> bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bitch. I have a good one. Luke, I don't know. I'm sorry if you don't want me to share this. <laughs> but this is a very embarrassing moment for you that I was <laughs> firsthand witness to. Middle school, me and him were talking at during lunch it was like we were in the gym like after lunch just hanging out me and him were just standing there out of nowhere he, he gets double pants for those of you who don't know it's so you get pants and then like they pull your underwear off too on accident <laughs> and so he's just dicks out he's naked and so he like quickly pulled him back up and i just remember him going oh my god and then he like just ran away and i didn't realize what had happened i, I saw he got pants i didn't know he got double pants who pants him do you know yeah his name is george <laughs> George, if you're out there, fuck, <laughs> asshole. That's, that's that's not cool, man. Um, yeah, and then so yeah, Lucas. Was, was I think, there like wait, people were all oh, around? Hunt a lot of people, and he Luke cried in the bathroom. Did you see his dick? No, I I did. I was the only one that like didn't see it because I was just talking. Oh, so to a him. lot of people saw Luke's dick. I don't know if a lot of people many did. people have seen <laughs> that dick. It's probably hard to find. Yeah. Uh, so sorry, Luke. Sorry if uh, I saw. I know a girl got pantsed, which is really oh, weird. Let's, who pantsed her? Is it a guy? I know it was one of her girlfriends pants her, but it was like kind of weird because it was like a girl that was kind of in the popular group and she got pants. But then since she's like a popular girl, all the guys were like talking about it for like a week. Really messed up. But I didn't when when I heard that that happened, I was like, didn't know that was a thing. It was weird to me that why would a girl get pants? Pantsing. That was one of the worst phases ever. Yeah. It's like, why is that fun? Just pulling my pants off or like sack tapping. Back when people uh, would sack tap you, it's like I can't trust anyone. This is stupid. Yeah, it's immature. There was, <laughs> this isn't relating to the question at all. But I remember this one kid that we went to middle school and high school with. He <laughs> must have had really saggy nuts, and he would clack them. And he was really good at clacking yeah, them so against I know his people that can do that. body. And he would like he could do it yeah. on command. We'd be like, "Yo, clack your balls," and he just, just start <laughs> swinging. Yeah, <laughs> can't relate, but that's cool. Good for him. Yeah. So I don't know. That those probably aren't the most embarrassing, but those are some of the most embarrassing moments yeah. probably. There's probably a lot that I've forgotten, but yeah. Um okay. Let's see. What else do we got here? Kyle, top 5 MLB top 5 favorite MLB teams. Go. Who asked me this? Brendan Lindley. F- top 5 teams? Favorite oh, teams. That's hard. Uh I mean the Mariners. Everybody else can kind of take a fucking hike, but uh, you have. To. I like. I, I guess I root. I root for the A's a little bit. Or sorry, sorry, the Rays, not the not A's. Not the A's. Not the A's. Uh, the Rays, I guess. I like the Brewers a little bit. Um, who's another fun team? I think the Padres are fun. Um, is that four? Yeah. That's uh, four. What's another team that I just don't hate? <laughs> um, I'm pretty cool with like the fucking Pirates because they're just irrelevant and okay. they have they mean no harm to the Mariners and they're just kind of there. There you go. So gotta love it. Will you guys ever run a marathon again? <sighs> I <laughs> I've told myself I want to. I that desire has not come back. Yeah. Let's just say that. I did feel sort of good when I crossed the finish line, but not as good as I was hoping, which made me realize maybe this isn't worth it. <laughs> That's kind of true, dude. I, I was hoping that this would be this big overwhelming thing that I finished and I just break down in tears. <laughs> I broke down in tears near the end. <laughs> but it wasn't it, i don't know Wait, you broke down in tears during the marathon yeah there, remember that guy was like talking to me i was walking there was a, one of the workers that was working at one of the stations and he started walking with me for a little bit wait what yeah he was asking me like why are you running this race and what does this mean to you and stuff oh, like that i didn't and, even know that happened oh really i feel like i told that story oh i definitely did okay but uh yeah i started i kind of cried a little bit i was hyperventilating and i was just exhausted <laughs> i was at my breaking point it was like mile 23 
I was just done. <laughs> yeah. So I cried before I finished, but after I finished, I was like, fuck that. Yeah. I don't think maybe one day, but not for a while. And if I do, I'm training way harder than I did last time because I was not prepared. Yeah. And I had the biggest blister anyone's ever seen on my foot. Mm. It was the size of a quarter, dude. <laughs> It was like a big ball of. Why well, should have got fluid. better shoes, dog, or something? That wasn't. I don't know. I think it was a socks. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Be sure to ask us more questions on Instagram at Pim's Podcast. Uh, there's new episodes every single Monday and Thursday. Um. Yeah. Please leave a review. Helps us out way more than you guys think. And just tell your friends. Spread the word. You know. If tell your kids. If any of your yeah. Tell your tell your sure. Wife, tell your no. kids. Grandma. If anyone. If you're ever talking to someone, they're like, yeah, you know. I've been listening to podcasts, or I need a new podcast. Say, oh. Or if they're I like, know one. they're like, you know, there's no good music recently. Just say, I found something even better than music. Who needs music when you have two beautiful boys talking to you? Yeah. So there you go. Kyle, where can I follow you? Instagram at Kyle Stafford36. Follow the podcast at Pim's Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Yo. You guys can follow me at Hey Narwhal on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Get us to 2,500 subs on YouTube. And with that being said, See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.